Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our daily card reading for August 25th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on today. Do not resist the shifts. Okay, so a lot of us, we might feel like, okay, something's not working in our life. This relationship is not working or this job is not working or the way I'm living and trying to lose weight or I'm trying to be healthier. It's not working. You know, this is that time to not beat yourself up. The way you have lived up until now has been correct for you and where you were. Again, this goes along with the weekly of, oh my gosh, I can't believe I spent all those years. I did this too. I was like, oh my gosh, I spent all those years being an executive assistant. Why did I do that? I came to work every day wondering how I was going to be scapegoated. What was going to be made to be my fault? Really, it was the executive that did it. Okay. Or you know, what kind of gossip am I going to be up against? What threat is going to come my way today? I'm not kidding. It was dark. <laughs> okay. It was dark. And I would look back and go, man, I wish I would have believed in myself more. I would have gotten out of that situation sooner. The fact of the matter was, is that I did the most immense soul growth in that situation. And it taught me so much. It taught me to not give up on myself, to believe in myself, to get my self-esteem back, to uh, set those boundaries. And I would have never started Angel Souls. I would never have been here if I didn't go through all of that, right? So you know that. You've heard that before. And this is just kind of really coming to a deeper understanding of that. So here is this card, which is funny because this was turned face up in the deck. <laughs> the card is Kindred Spirits. I believe this came up in the weekly as well. Now, this is a time where through our transformation, through having appreciation and forgiveness for those who have hurt us in the past, you can release yourself from that. If we hang on to anger and bitterness and resentment, we get stuck, okay? Uh, as I said, you know, there are situations that happened psh, a, a decade ago that will just pop up in my mind and I start getting emotional again. I feel the pain all over again. We have to not overlook that. We have to go back and clear that up, whether that's forgiveness, exercises, meditations, whether it is honoring our part in that, what have you. And I think what this is telling us is that the kindred spirits, they are the ones that they're not always supportive. <laughs> okay. They're not always the ones that are going to come in and hold your hand through everything. They might be the one that pushes back and says, no, no, you may not. No, you made your choices. You figure it out. You know, I've become one of the most resourceful people out there. I've done everything on my own to the point where when somebody does offer to help, I'll admit may have gone too far because I kind of don't trust it. So I'm like, oh, you're really going to pick me up from the airport? Are you? Huh? Okay. <laughs> or are you really going to do that thing for me? Are you? Because huh? what you'll do is because you think you're doing me a favor, you'll do it the way you want to do it and say, well, I'm doing you a favor. So let me just do it the way I want. Some of you out there are going to really understand this and then they end up causing more work for you. I'm thinking of an example of uh, this supposed friend who's like, oh, I'll help you move. And I was like, that's okay. I'll hire movers. Because <laughs> like, I, uh, I didn't really trust this person to show up or to even actually help. And she didn't. Okay. She showed up and was in the way. And next thing I know, I'm basically carrying a couch and dragging it along and having to do it on my own. And uh, we could have hired big buff movers to do that for us. Yeah. So <laughs> sometimes the kindred spirits are teaching you to be, and I feel like that example is coming up to um, learn how to lean on yourself. Okay. Hang with me. Cause some of you are like, Oh my God, this is a terrible message. You're telling us to get away from each other. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying learn to not um, affect other people with your life choices. Okay. So that's one layer of message and learn how to handle everything um, or have like a backup how to be uh, resourceful, okay? That's a message coming through. And to not get codependent with people. Let me give another example. If you come forward and you're like, oh, I can choose all of these responsibilities and still have my freedom because I'll just shove my responsibilities onto someone else and hold up their life while I go off and have my freedom. It doesn't work like that. Okay, so some of you are going to be getting some really hard hitting lessons from kindred spirits who are like, no, I'm showing up in your life on a soul level to teach you to go believe in yourself or to teach you that you can't be so entitled 
to other people's time. You don't have a right to invade other people's lives. Or you know what? You do need to show up for your friends. Whatever is right for you, whatever that message is for you individually, okay? Now, it may not seem supportive on the surface, but really, that lesson is everything, and that's the point, <laughs> all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love, and take care.